Uh, the other time my wife goes with me, well, I was in North Carolina, and I'm working, and the club, the hotel's on the beach. So I said, honey, come down, we'll go to the beach. So we're at the beach, picture it, and we're walking along, and here's this, the sand and the waves. Are like, And my wife finds one of those seashells, one of those big shells, and she picks it up and looks at it, and, and then she puts it up to her ear. And then she holds it up to my ear and says, listen, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, how about that? Wow. I can, I, I, I can hear the ocean. Hey. Yeah. Honey, you know why that might be? Because the ocean's right here. <laughs> so that's what we argued about that day. <laughs> oh, you know, you get married. If you're married long enough, you, you argue. It's, uh, it's just, you got nothing else to do, right? It's, <laughs> sometimes an hour in, we don't even remember what it's about. <laughs> well, nothing's on TV. Oh, and the longer you're together, the dumber the arguments are. You argue about this. Six months ago, we argued for three hours about a dog that we don't have. <laughs> she wants to get one of those, what are they, the Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu, the, 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 the little stupid dog. I, I don't want, I said, what can I do with that? Wax the car? I don't want it. <laughs> But she broke me down. I said, okay, we'll get your stupid little dog. We don't have it. This is why, because that wasn't good enough. Listen to the name she wants to call it. She says, and we'll call him Winky. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yes, we are. We're getting him. He's going to be called Winky. I said, get him. I hope he runs away. Because <laughs> if he runs away, he's gone. Because no way I'm going to be outside yelling, here, Winky. <laughs> c c come home, Winky. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen my Winky? But the advice I give the younger people, especially guys, guys, listen to me. The thing is, the longer you're together, you gotta let her know you still find her attractive. She's still, she's still important to you. Like, like here's what I did for our, for our Valentine's Day last year. I got my wife the, the lingerie, right? I got her lingerie and I got it wrapped up real nice with the bows and the ribbons. And I'm thinking, this is gonna make her feel good about herself and um, maybe I get a good night out of it, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I gave her the package and she unwraps it and she looks at the laundry and she goes, and what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe put it on over your sweatpants. <laughs> Change sweatpants, big shirts. And... How did this happen? I mean, I was watching television and movies growing up. There was always that scene when, when the couple was about to be intimate, and the woman would say, Excuse me, I think I'll go slip into something a little more comfortable, right? And, and they come back in the room, they had something lacy and frilly on, and, and then I got married, and I found out what something a little more comfortable really means. <laughs> Big, loose, fuzzy things. <laughs> Sometimes the same ones day after day. <laughs> oh, you got the blue sweatpants again, huh? You, you, you know those are my favorite. 